We welcome you to this next video in our series about what we believe about the Bible. We're going to try to answer the question of what do we mean by inspiration? Where does the Bible come from? Well, we know the primary text that we turn to is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. The Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. And then it's profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, for instruction in righteousness with the goal that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, and all good works. But we need to ask the question, what does it mean by all Scripture? Are we just talking about Old Testament? Are we talking about New Testament? Or is all of it together? The Apostle Peter dealt with this in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 2. He said that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of our Lord and Savior. And so we see that he said, we accept that the Old Testament is inspired of God. But furthermore, we expect that Scripture in the New Testament is inspired of God. The writings of the prophets of the Old Testament, the writings of the apostles in the New Testament. The Bible says that we're built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, representing the Old Testament and the New Testament. So all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. Throughout the New Testament, they would refer to the Old Testament. Jesus would preach from the Old Testament. But then they also came to that conclusion that God was using them in the times that they were in to write down the Word of God and to be His voice in this world. This is not new. This is something that God's always used. Job chapter 32 in verse number 8, the Bible says, There is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. That's the only other time in the Bible we find the word inspiration is in Job, the oldest book of the Bible. The Bible says the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. When Jesus was giving the Great Commission in Luke chapter 24, He told them that He enlightened their understanding that they might understand the Scriptures. And so there's a work of God through the Holy Spirit that was driving people to understand the Word of God. David understood in the Old Testament that he was being used of God to write Holy Scripture. In 2 Samuel chapter 23 and verse number 2, as we read the last words of David, the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and His word was in my tongue. He understood that God's Spirit was working in him to give the word of God. He understood that he was being moved of the Holy Ghost. When Peter made that same statement at the end of his ministry in 2 Peter chapter number 1 and verse number 21, he said, The prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And so we understand that inspiration means that the Holy Spirit moves a person to write the Word of God. So I guess the question is, how do we receive it? The Bible teaches us that something was different about the church at Thessalonica and that they received the Word as it was in truth, the Word of God. They didn't look at it as fairy tales. They didn't look at it as mythology. They didn't look at it as a self-help book. They understood that the Bible that they were receiving was the Word of God. Now we look back and we say, how do we end up with the 66 books of the Bible? Well, the Bible teaches us of a fellow by the name of Ezra. And it was in his time after captivity that the children of Israel returned back to Jerusalem and in Israel, and he compiled that work of the Old Testament. And then we get to the New Testament, we have certain things that we look for. Number one, it's that doctrinal soundness. Number two, it's the marks of the apostles. Even in the books not written by the apostles directly, they still had their influence. Matthew was an apostle. Mark was not, but that was the book that was influenced by Peter. Luke was not an apostle, but his was the writing of the apostle Paul. John was. We see throughout the rest of the New Testament that there was influence there, and it had the confirmation of those who had the influence of Jesus Christ and recognizing what they wrote was the Word of God. So what do we mean by inspiration? We're talking about Old Testament. We're talking about New Testament. We're talking about things that came directly from God. David understood it best when he said, The Lord spake 
by me. The best understanding that we can have for the inspiration of Scripture is that in no way is it man's word. In every way, it's God's word. And if we can trust in that, if we can anchor ourselves to this promise of God's word, we know that that word endures forever. That word will never perish. That word has been attempted time and time again to be destroyed and eliminated from the world. But God has promised to preserve His Word because it's His and it's not from man. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. Don't discount it. All of it matters and every part is vital. God bless you.